I feel like this is a big misconception for YouTubers. That video has 350,000 views right now, and I actually only made- Gotcha! My next tip, this is a huge one, guys. My first paycheck was- <laughs> Hey guys, it's Paige. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm talking about a very exciting topic. I'm going to be talking about how to make money on YouTube, how I got my first paycheck, how much I make on each video. I feel like a lot of questions that a lot of people are wondering, but not all YouTubers are answering. So I'm gonna answer them for you guys. Also, at the end of the video, I'm gonna share my 10 tips on how to actually gain subscribers and grow your channel. And yeah, this will be a very informative video, so let's just get started. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about how much money I made on my first paycheck and how much money I make in each video in just a couple of minutes. But right now, I really wanna focus on how to actually make money on YouTube. So the way that you do that is by getting ads placed on your videos. So when people watch ads or interact with these ads, you actually earn money. I believe you make 55% of the commission from the ads and the rest of it goes to YouTube. So in order to get these ads on your videos, there's a couple of steps that you have to go through. For one, you have to sign up for a Google AdSense account. Google AdSense is basically the company that pays you. They're the ones who actually play the ads on YouTube and then they pay you money. So to set up the account, you just go to your YouTube studio, you click on monetization, and then it should be straightforward from there. So after you have all that set up and out of the way, step two is actually to reach the requirements. So the requirements are you need to have at least a thousand subscribers, which honestly is probably the easier part of this. And the harder part is you need to have 4,000 watch hours, which means people have watched your videos for 240,000 minutes, which is a lot, especially when you're just starting off and you have a small channel. That took me a while to get to that point. So once you get both of those out of the way, you can then apply to the YouTube Partner Program which is basically just you pledging to follow YouTube's community guidelines and they will hopefully get back to you in a couple of days and approve your channel so that you can become a YouTube partner and start making money. Um, sometimes the approval process can take like over a month, but I was lucky for me it only took about a week. It's really easy to know when you get approved, you'll actually get an email that says like, congratulations, you've been approved and welcome to our community, whatever. So now that you are a part of the YouTube partner program, you can actually start getting ads on your videos, but in order to get your first page you actually have to reach a threshold of $100, which means you have to make $100 through people watching and clicking on your ads before YouTube will actually send you a paycheck. The lighting sucks. So how it works is, let's say you're trying to make money in October. You have from October 1st to October 31st to make as much money as possible. And then on November 21st, you'll actually get paid because you get paid on the 21st of every month. So on November 21st, I'm getting October's paycheck. But if I only made a $98 in October, they're not gonna pay me that $98 on November 21st. I'm gonna have to wait until December 21st to hopefully earn two more dollars, reach that $100 threshold, and get paid. So I was lucky I actually met the threshold pretty easily. I didn't have to worry about that. But again, I'll get to how much I made on my first paycheck in just a couple seconds. So after you reach that threshold, the next step is to fill out your tax information and payment information on your Google AdSense account. Okay, so to do this, you have to go to your YouTube studio, click on the monetization tab, and then click on monetization through ads, and then click on the associated AdSense account. Then there should be like a little disclaimer that pops up saying that you need to fill out your payment information and your tax information. So you just do that pretty straightforward. For the payment information, so once you enter the account where you want the direct deposit to occur, Google AdSense will actually send you a very small amount of money, so something less than a dollar. So then you're gonna have to go into your bank account, check and see the amount of money that they sent you and enter that into Google AdSense, basically to verify that that actually is your account and that your payment information is accurate. So that should only take a couple of days. It doesn't take them very long to send the money to your account. However, this was the problem for me, you also have to verify your address. So Google AdSense will actually send you a little card in the mail that will have a little pin number on it and you need to enter that PIN number into Google AdSense to verify your address. It says it's supposed to take only two to four weeks. For me, it definitely took like three or four weeks. It took a while to get there and I was so anxious because I just wanted to get paid already. But yeah, all your payment information will be on hold until you get your address verified. So that was a pain in the butt for me. That was probably the most annoying part of this process. Okay, and then once all those steps are done, the last step is finally getting paid. So you'll get a little email that says, oh, a payment has been made in your Google AdSense account. And then I just went to my bank account and I saw that the deposit had been made. 
Okay, I'm sure this is a part of video that everybody is actually waiting for and that's how much money I made on my first paycheck. Okay, so my first paycheck was $635.97. So that might seem like a lot to some of you guys. That might seem like a little bit, I don't know. I'm not saying it to brag or anything like that. Literally, this is supposed to be a very informative video to help you guys out and give you an idea of how much YouTubers can actually make. So that money is actually the money I made in August. So that's excluding all the money that I've made so far in September and October. And I can tell you right now, I've definitely been making more than that. Another disclaimer I want to put out, I feel like this is a big misconception for YouTubers and them making money. I feel like a lot of people think that the more views that a video has automatically correlates to how much money you're going to make off that video. But that is so far from the truth. Let me just give you an example. Okay, so if we look at my first ever day of college vlog, that video has 350,000 views right now and I actually made $745 off of it. But then if you go into the College Day of My Life Taco Tuesday edition video, that video only has 131,000 views, so substantially less, and I made $827 off that video. So. so the reason for that is that the amount of money you make depends on a lot of factors. For one, it's what content is the video about, who is watching the videos. If it's a younger audience, you're gonna make less money. If it's older audience, you might make more because older people are more likely to go buy products when they see ads. Yeah, it also depends on the type of ads, how long people are watching them, are they clicking on them or interacting with them, a bunch of different factors. Um, also, I just wanna put this out as a disclaimer. It's very easy to come across as a YouTuber as like, oh my God, I just upload videos and now I make all this money. Like my life is so great. Like YouTube is hard work. Like I put a lot of effort into thinking of video ideas, filming video ideas, and then editing video ideas. Editing takes forever. <laughs> so it's definitely something that's fun for me, so I don't mind doing it. But if you're not passionate about doing YouTube, I wouldn't recommend it as a career choice or a side hustle to make money. Also another tip, please be mindful of copyright because if you use a song that does get copyrighted, you will stop making money on that video, which could really suck. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about are my 10 big tips on how to actually gain subscribers and have a successful channel. <laughs> These are all things that actually work for me, so I'm not just going to try to BS you guys right now. These are legit. My first biggest one is make videos that people want to watch. <laughs> when I first started off on YouTube, what I had like, what, 600 subscribers or something like that, and I would make like, oh, well, what I eat in a day video. I'm sorry to break it to you, sis, but people don't care <laughs> what you're eating in a day. If you only have 600 subscribers, you really don't have a big enough fan base and like loyal subscribers to you who care about your daily eating habits. They just, they just don't care. You have to make kind of bigger picture videos when you first start off like, oh, a boyfriend tag, oh, a room tour, oh, moving into college, that was the big one for me. Those videos people want to watch, those are very universal and people are going to click on those. Tip number two is to try to follow trends on YouTube. So when you see trends forming on YouTube, something like, oh, ordering what the person in front of me orders for a full 24 hours. Those videos, if you do them early on, you can really gain traction and get a lot of views and go viral because you're ahead of the trend. And you can do that with a lot of things too. Like, I don't know if you remember when the Hannah Maloche and Summer McKean drama came out. That was a huge topic. And if people were including those celebrities' names in their thumbnails or their titles of their videos, that like really helped them gain views because people were searching for that at that time. Tip number three, this is a big one too, is to add flair and personality to your videos. No one wants to watch a person very monotone talking throughout the entire video. I really do try to add little personality clips just because you want to give people a reason to subscribe to you. You want to show them that you are a real person with the real personality. So if you put in like a little joke like that and someone laughs, they'll be like, okay, I kind of like this girl. Maybe I'll subscribe to her. Um, another big one, number four, is to show, don't tell. I feel like an English teacher when I say that. My creative writing teacher always tells me, make sure you're showing, not telling. But this is really important in video too. If you're just talking for the entire time, you have no music, you have no overlays, you have nothing, it's gonna get really boring, really dry, really fast. So what I try to do is, I don't know if you guys notice this, but even when I'm talking, I have what I'm talking about appear on the screen because that just helps keep people engaged. Like no one wants me ramble on about something for so long. And number four is probably the most important one because if you are showing and not telling, that means your videos are gonna be more interesting. And having interesting videos is key because that means people are gonna watch them for a longer time. And I feel like this is another big misconception on YouTube. People think that like a good thumbnail or something will get you like millions of views, but that's not really the case. Actually how the YouTube algorithm works is if people are watching your videos for a long time, so you have good audience retention and watch time hours, 
that causes them to recommend your video to people and that's how it gains views and goes viral. So again, that just goes back to how important watch time hours are and audience retention. So you wanna make sure you're showing, not telling, and having interesting videos to keep that viewer engaged so they don't click off your video right away. Um, this is another big one. You wanna make sure you have, I hate myself for saying this, but an aesthetically pleasing channel. So when people see your channel, you want each individual thumbnail to be appealing so people will click on it because that'll get you in the initial view. But you also want all the videos together to kind of have a cohesive look that makes people want to click the subscribe button. So I'll put a couple of examples of I think aesthetically pleasing channels on the screen. There's a bunch of different styles you can do so make sure you find your own unique one. For me, I made my channel banner on an app called Pixart. So I basically just put a bunch of graphics and then layered more and more over top. And then I kind of made each one a little bit transparent so it like blended into the background behind it. And yeah, I think it has a cool effect. It definitely matches my aesthetic, if you will. But yeah, the aesthetic is way more important than you realize. So going along with aesthetic, number six is definitely have a good thumbnail. I know you've probably heard this like a million times, but it's so important because if your video could have amazing content, but if no one will click on the thumbnail because your thumbnail is not visually appealing, no one's ever going to see that content. You're never going to get your watch hours up and then YouTube won't recommend your video to people. Um, another tip, especially for making money on YouTube, is to have longer videos. So I usually aim to have my videos be longer than 10 minutes because if you do upload a video that's longer than 10 minutes, YouTube can actually play ads in the middle of your video. But if it's shorter than that, you can't. So long videos are important for making money and that reason, but they're also just important when you're just starting out because you want to increase your watch hours in order to hit the 4,000 watch hours necessary. So then you can actually make less videos to hit that 4,000 watch hour mark just because your videos are longer. My next tip, this is number eight. This is a huge one, guys. And and that is to post often and post consistently. When I first started off on YouTube, my channel was actually doing pretty well. I think I was nearing like 1500 subscribers or something. So I was posting pretty consistently, probably once every week or so. And then suddenly for a month, I did not post at all. And when I did come back and finally post a new video after a month passed, I got almost no views, like all my subscribers had forgotten about me basically. So especially when you're just starting off, uploading consistently gives people a schedule. Like they know when you're gonna upload, they're gonna show up for your uploads and get excited about them. Number nine, I feel like this is kind of a more obvious one, but definitely make sure you have a confident presence on the camera. So when you're talking, you're loud and projecting your voice. I want to insert a clip of my first ever YouTube video, which is now on private, but just listen to how I was talking in this clip. Hello internet, welcome to my YouTube channel. So everyone's setting goals in the new year and I decided to set the most basic goal that there ever was to get healthy. So I've actually been going to the gym more in 2019. Like you can't even hear me. It sounds like I was whispering to myself. It's just so uncomfortable and cringy and you're never gonna gain subscribers or start building your channel if that's your presence on camera. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and tip number 10, this is just in general and that is to Make quality videos. Put effort into the editing, that counts. You can have a very boring topic, like me getting ready in the morning, but the different cuts and editing and like whatever effects you add to it can make it so much more interesting and engaging. And people will notice it and appreciate it and see the hard work that you're putting into the videos and that'll pay off for you. They'll subscribe and they'll keep coming back to watch more of your content. Okay guys, I hope this video was helpful and informative for you. If you're wondering about more of the technical things that I do, so how I edit, how I film, stuff like that, I am gonna be doing a video on that coming up soon, so make sure you guys are subscribed so you can see that. But anyway, I pretty much covered all of the topics that I wanted to in this video already, so I hope that this was helpful, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye.